as Sorry. Premier Silvia Lucas took to the podium. Protests in the Joe Moralong municipality continued. <laughs> Residents have shut down 50 schools, demanding the tarring of the road linking villages to the main road. They rejected calls for 17,000 pupils to return to school. Finally, word today that construction on the 130-kilometer road will start in September. It's part of 2.5 billion rands for road construction across the province. The building of the Honderklip Bay Road, the maintenance and resealing of Koolsberg to Philippolis Road, the building of the road from Hotazel to Tsineng, the construction of the Joe Moralong, this is the infamous road, Ward 10 to Lexi and N14 to Botitong in partnership with the Cision Iron Ore Community Trust. But the community says the promise has been made before. Until today, we are still waiting to see the contractors on the site. But as you can see today, they, they are not where to be, they are, we cannot get them anywhere. The Premier said she would not be held to ransom. Fighting corruption, improving health services and education are on Limpopo's agenda. The timely delivery of support material and well-qualified teachers among the priorities. Insufficient teacher supply, particularly in areas of math, science and technology, is a matter of great concern to this government. In this regard, the Executive Council has, take, has tasked the MEC for Education to look into issues of revamping the old colleges of education. 200,000 hectares of underutilized land will be converted to productive units and irrigation schemes revitalized. KwaZulu-Natal hopes to create more than 4 million jobs by 2030, focusing on developing small business and supporting agricultural projects. Our target in respect of SMME's development over the next five years are to increase the number of small businesses that have, that, that have been in operation for more than two years, from the current 15,000 to at least 22,000. The province will forge partnerships with existing farmers and recruit new farmers to help grow the agricultural sector. To improve health services, the number of people on ARV treatment will be increased. <laughs>